What can I say? What can I say? What can I say, people? <sighs> Arsenal fans, I'm looking direct at the camera to tell you this. It's going to be a very, very, very long season. Oh, what a performance. So Arsenal go through preseason. They lose to Chelsea. They lose to Spurs. And now we really kind of see where Arsenal stack up into. So, I mean, a lot of you would have seen that I was on um, 101 Arsenal. Uh, and I did, uh, you know, the live stream and watching watching Arsenal play. I'm still seeing the same things that I saw last season. That were the issues. Abamyang starting out there on the left. I thought we got to a point where to see that this doesn't work. And Arteta is still not listening. I said that he his job is on the line in relation to how Arsenal set up. And if Arsenal set up correctly, then they won't have a problem. You will see an improvement. Now, I'm not saying top four improvement because I don't think that the players that you have right here are good enough to get into the top four. But I do think that we have enough players, good quality players there, to be able to do things with. And at the end of the game, um, I kept thinking we need to change something because by the time we get to Brentford on Friday, I don't like what I'm seeing. I, I really don't. Um, what I'm seeing is just not good enough. Um, it is really not good enough. You're having whereby... Our build-up play is fine. Defensively today, I think it was a bit all over the place. Um, I thought Ben White was good. Um, but Bellerin, no for me. Um, we all know the reason why that is defensively. Just not good enough. Um, not solid enough defensively. Great going forward, but needs work on his crossing. Um and everybody was wondering where's Chambers in a game like this against Tottenham. And I know people are watching this going to say that it's a preseason game. Like, you can't think of it that way. But it's Tottenham. It's Spurs. It's, you know, this this was a North London derby. Whether you want to believe, like, preseason or not. This is, this is the type of game that I said, like, you have to get at least a draw. You know, you, you can't. You just can't lose because not just me, but there's going to be plenty other Arsenal fans talking about this game, talking about how bad they saw Arsenal play today. And i got to say that Arteta has to fix it, has to find another way. You know, there are goals that we need, not just from up front, but in midfield. We need more. And I'm not sure whether I, I'm not sure on the decision makings of Arteta and and the rest of this this Arsenal team. I mean, Chris Wheatley just um, dropped uh, a news article talking about uh, the reflections of the game, and they interviewed um, Mikel Arteta uh, around you know where was Rob Holden because you know I would have expected Rob Holden and Ben White to play in that central midfield today. Um, because for me, Pablo Mari just wasn't good enough. It was caught out of position so many times. Um, overall, just for me, he's not my cup of tea. Like whether you're a Mari fan or not, for me, just wasn't me. So he said that uh, Rob Holden, like, he wasn't fit enough to play. And with Joe, he said they'll explain the reasons when we can. Uh, and for me, I don't quite get that. Now, we've all heard the story that over the last few days that Arsenal have accepted a bid from Newcastle in regards to the 25 million, like a 25 million bid from Newcastle for Joe Willock. Now, if the club have said yes, that means it's really Joe Willock that's the one that's holding this up. And you can understand why. He's been at the club for a long time. He's probably thinking, do I just need to fight for it more? 
before I um, decide to leave. And yeah, Arsenal could talk about them looking to use the money for whoever, whether it's Odegaard or Awa. And I'm just like, are you serious? There was a reason why Chris Wheatley brought up Joe Willock in this. Because Arsenal need goals. Joe Willock has shown in the Premier League he can give us goals. Or against Premier League sides, he can give you goals. I mean, this is the same Joe Willock that scored against Tottenham for Newcastle uh, when on loan last season. And he he wasn't even an option. And it's quite clear that he wasn't an option today because he either is on the brink of a move to Newcastle. And for Mikel Arteta not to have a player like Joe Willock in his side and for the performance he had last season, and I know this is going to sound the obvious one, that I keep banging on about, about using what you have and getting the best out of him. Like, how are we not able to find the space for this guy? For the fact that Arsenal have accepted a bid tells me that Mikel Arteta believes that he has enough. Who Who's going to score the goals? Like, who, who else have we got? Like, for me, I think that Smith Rowe might get one or two goals more than what he did last season. But who else? What, William? That I, I have no expectations for William. Whatsoever. Like, where are the goals going to come from? Party? Xhaka? What, El Nene? What, Sambi? <sighs> I'm very... I'm, I'm quite disappointed. I, I know it's pre-season, but, you know, I, I expected a better performance. And I think the worst part about it all is that you still see the glaring and obvious issues with this Arsenal side. Aubameyang again starting out on the left as an inside forward. Still the same thing. You know, doesn't have the technical quality to be able to beat a man. His crossing, uh, you know, yeah, he did get the cross off, but like none of them was good enough to whereby they were even helping Lacazette. It just wasn't good enough overall. It really just wasn't. Um, and the way how the squad is set up, if Aubameyang and Lacazette are our best goal scorers, particularly Aubameyang, the squad isn't set up to get the best out of him. And that was one of the last comments that I said um, on 101 Arsenal. And I wanted to talk about that in a little bit more uh, detail. And the reason why I said that is because I believe Aubameyang's best position is up front as the main striker. Now, Aubameyang does have some weaknesses. Some of them I've talked about in terms of his technical ability. But as a main striker, the main thing that, that he does not have is the ability to hold the ball up, which is why, you know, they kind of was playing Lacazette and Arteta started to play Lacazette almost like in a 10 uh, as part of last season. But then if you do that, you are, are limiting Lacazette's ability to do what Lacazette can do, which is, you know, to go up and, and score goals and kind of bring other people into play. So, uh, something has to be done. Arteta needs to find a way. Um, I reckon that there should be a change of formation. Whether it's playing like a 4-3-2-1 with a Bamiang up top. Maybe two attacking midfield players uh, behind with three central midfield players. And I think the three central midfield players will help the likes of Xhaka. Um, would also allow you to play someone like a Willock. Who I think that, you know, we should be trying to integrate into the squad. Because uh, I, I still won't believe that Arsenal will sell Joe Willock until I see him in a recent uh, this season's Newcastle shirt. I won't believe it. I, I refuse to. Because as I said on my video uh, a couple of days ago, Arsenal couldn't be this stupid. You know, good quality player like Willock and we're just letting him go when we need goals. But I've rambled on for about nine minutes now. I hope things do change. They have to change. We got Brentford, what, Friday coming. And we got to get things right. And I hope Arteta has a plan. Hope he has a plan. I know Lewis was on there saying that he's going to start with Xhaka and Elneny in midfield. And that's exactly what I thought he would, would start with. Um, but I really, really hope I'm wrong. 
because those first 10 games for Arteta are going to be hell. Like, this past year, like, he has had more than enough time to be able to find out what his best side is, to be able to find out what are the issues and to be able to address them. And unfortunately, this club have not addressed them. Even issues that where we have the backup goalkeeper, which aren't addressed, which Chris Wheatley also asked Arteta about because we don't have, not I wouldn't say a proper number two, but more of an experienced number two. Because if Leno does get injured, it's really only Carl Hein, Runnison, and Arthur Aquanko uh, that you really have. So it's... What do you do? But I, I put this all in Arteta's court because I think that there are enough resources that are there at Arsenal to finish above eighth. To at least get a team that's playing that's like playing well and trying, you know. That you know, we could talk about lack of quality and lack of finishing at another time, but what I saw is a glare and obvious problem in that by the time the ball gets up to that front three they don't know what to do up front. Like, there is no plan. There's no way to get the best out of Aubameyang or get the best out of Lacazette. Like, what is the plan? That needs to be figured out. And until they do that, we're going to keep having the same issues. So, Artel, you know, he's got he's got this week to come and sort it out. And then, um, then we'll hit Friday. So, um, let's see what happens. But... Guys, if you did watch the game, do leave your comments below. Uh, overall, I'm interested in to hear what you guys had to say. Um, but I could tell you, like, I was... I'm pretty gutted about the game. Uh, I, I wanted more. I thought there would be... Even if even if we didn't score a lot of goals, you know what? I'm expecting to see a lot more creativity to get the best out of players. Like... Maybe a little one-two football, one-touch football between Smith Rowe and Saka. Sorry, Smith Rowe uh, and um, Laka. Maybe with Pepe, but you just didn't have any of that. And you got to say that that is that from a player standpoint or is that from an instruction standpoint? I don't know, but nevertheless, leave your comments below. Do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I just want to thank everybody to all the recent subscribers. And yeah, let's get a conversation going. What do you guys think? Um, I'm pretty down about it. Um, but yeah, on to the next one, which I'll probably end up putting up about another video tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be some brighter news. Maybe we'll, we'll sign a backup goalkeeper or maybe a new striker. But until then, I'll see you all in my next video, which is in a link in the description below.